lighting model in open so so far uh, we have seen the lighting calculation through shaders program and in the shaders uh, we have calculated uh, diffuse curve. okay so uh, we also saw that uh, when we calculate the i coordinate or we do the transformation of the uh, of the kind of uh, transformed coordinates means transformation of the coordinates then two kind of uh, matrix comes into the picture if uh, uh, kind of vertex is lying on the model surface then we go through model view uh, matrix if vertex lies on the surface that is normal to the uh, kind of uh, uh, the model so we call it kind of normal vector also. then transpose and inverse matrix comes into the picture so we saw the kind of uh, model transformation light source transformation light source type as uh, directional and positional so in the light, in the directional light source we just bother about the direction of the light so normal vector where in the positional light source uh, we see uh, we bother the uh, position of the light and the transform or the vertex position in i coordinate that is the transform vertex position in the i coordinate so that uh, we saw where uh, so in the diffuse uh, cal while calculating the uh, diffuse color or diffuse shine, diffuse diffuse reflection uh, from the material then uh, light vector i would say light vector and normal vector everything transform so a uh, normal vector transform and light vector transform if it is a directional light then light vector transform if it is a positional light then light vector is kind of um, it it is calculated uh, through light position and the new position transform position of the vertex so what so we calculated the diffuse color when we were rotating the model when we are rotating the light source so that we saw then uh, we calculated and then we calculated ambiance we calculated kind of a specular we calculated a shininess so whatever we have achieved by now so everything is vertex calculation so we calculate uh, all the uh, vertex uh, vertex transformation transformed vertices coordinate and its attributes like normal or lighting parameter everything per vertex so there is a problem in the vertex what about like i have a sphere and the number of coordinates are in thousands no problem means vertices are so near to each other it is so densely packed so doesn't matter much but uh, what about where vertices are far away from each other so one uh, primitive like if i say triangle it has a kind of meaningful surface so number of uh, vertices are less at that time lighting would not be perfect means it it will see means how it performs when we have kind of a sparse uh, vertices so calculating the all the light uh, parameters on vertex wise then it is not a very wide scale means the lighting will be kind of it will be scattered it not it won't be kind of it. the real world uh, lighting and shining and and more about it so what is the solution so we so this whatever we have done is called goad model per vertex calculation model so if i want that lighting should be calculated separately at each point in the kind of model so if we call it at each fragment or loosely at each pixel okay so if i want that then i have to do calculation per pixel wise or per fragment okay so what is the problem here problem is too much too much too much means i have uh, i have uh, 50 vertices but number of uh, uh, the pixels 
may go in kind of hundreds or in thousands. So that much calculation per transformation. So, so what we need to do now is that we have to take out all the code what we calculated uh, light normal and vertex normal transform light normal vertex normal and i um, i normal and reflection of the light while calculating the diffuse ambience and uh, a specular color shininess so everything now we bring it to fragment this is called form model so in form model uh, we uh, we will uh, calculate everything uh, per pixel by per fragment by. so number of calculation is very high but okay we will get the smooth result uh, as far as lighting is concerned so from the vertex shader uh, all the things uh, transformation is the responsibility of the vertex shader so everything transform everything vertex to normal everything transform i mean in i coordinate so that we will get and or calculation uh, we will do in the fragment shader means normal uh, uh, estimation will happen for the pixel and other estimation it will happen pixel by so that is the calculation so that we will see that uh, how much uh, uh, more computation equal so we can think about it like uh, if I do the pixel wise computation the only thing that makes sense pixel wise computation is texturing so since we have an image if I have an image and image is pixel wise so it may loosely map to per pixel so anyway I have the data available so through sampler I can just get the per pixel data and just change the color of the pixel but if I have a primitive and then I have a three vertices and where all the attributes are set per vertices means even though I do the transformation and get all the attributes in I coordinate or in a transformed coordinate but still getting things per pixel wise and then doing the calculation so that we will see so uh, form model is costly as per calculation is concerned so if our hardware supports that much calculation then we can achieve that in addition to that we we'll also see uh, a kind of spotlight a spotlight makes sense means like uh, uh, light is not always omnidirectional means for positional light i would say a uh, many times spotlight for directional light there is no, no meaning of uh, spotlight no one can put a kind of a cone uh, in front of sun so directional light there is no meaning of a spotlight though we can try getting that also but it doesn't make any sense but since it is at infinite it smell a distance away uh, from the position so but for positional light like uh, 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 like we get a street light and those things so for that i think it's okay but like a, a motorbike uh, the front light so those are completely kind of it is a cone light, so it is a spotlight. I mean, there is a cone that is fixed in front of a light, so that light will go in only one direction. Or the light in other direction that is not that doesn't belong to cone direction inside the cone, so that won't come. So spotlight that we'll see, then we'll see the attenuation. Means positional light, the way we saw, if I take away, if it is very near to the model, then it then lighting at every pixel in the model, it has the mercy of the shape of the model and position of the light but if light comes away then slowly it is converting into directional light so it is getting full light but it had is not the case uh, the positional light it gets attenuated so either it can be quadratic attenuation means one by d one by a kind of distance square or linear one by d so generally we go for linear attenuation so uh, spotlight attenuation and form model per pixel um, lighting calculation so that we will see ok so we have finished everything except the spotlight so that we will see so spotlight is kind of light will be uh, one cone will be placed in front of uh, 
the positional light and it will kind of throw light as a emit light as a spotlight one spot one beam of the light that will come this is kind of this beam is bigger means angle is more or light is far light is near and so this is a spotlight and light decreases so at the center of the spot light is more and light decreases here full cone light is illuminated with the same intensity so this is the spotlight and attenuation light can be attenuated if it is far if it is near then full brightness if it is far then it is attenuated less light is coming so these two things so what we are talking is that we have already discussed so this is a kind of a spotlight where we place a uh, one cone and this is cut off angle so if cut off angle is kind of theta then 2 theta if cut off angle is 30 then 30 plus 30 60 degree it would kind of it, it would illuminate so if we see the net calculation of the light so for each light source first is attenuation so this is constant attenuation and this is linear and this is quadratic so we will not use quadratic quadratic means uh, uh, square times it will reduce the way if we uh, proceed with the light so it will become very dim so only linear will use so 1 by kc will make 1 so uh, or kc will make 0 then 1 by uh, uh, d so k this kl also linear will make 1 so 1 by d uh, it will resolve to or we'll put kc 1 then 1 plus d okay it is up to us how we want and a spotlight effect so spotlight effect is if light is falling outside this cone then there is no light and if it is falling inside the cone okay so probably we can edit this okay so this is uh, so this is cut off angle and this is spot direction white line we are seeing that is spot direction so line so uh, it must fall outside so if i save it okay so light must fall so if light is in the spot direction then if i place kind of uh, uh, there is something called spot exponent so spot exponent means light if it is falling in the direction of a spot direction then it is the kind of uh, uh, maximum light and if light is in the cone itself light would vary if it is going away from the spot direction the cosine uh, cos theta of the direction and spot direction so if it is here at angle of 20 then this vector okay so this this vector whatever will from here if we imagine a line and spot direction the the dot means uh, their dot product cos theta to the power spot exponent okay so so that is a kind of uh, uh, that becomes the spot factor okay so if i kind of if i draw a line this so if i using the spot exponent so if light is in this direction okay so i mean the vertex is in, in this direction the, then it would expect a maximum if vertex is in this direction then nothing if vertex is in this direction okay so at that time 
so this direction will make as a uh, since this is a spotlight this is a kind of a positional light so this would be l light vector and this would spot spot direction so if this is d and this is l then l dot t to the power spot exponent is the uh, kind of uh, the variation so uh, if a spot exponent is zero then if a spot exponent is zero then th there is no variation of light inside the cone so inside the cone it will be illuminated like this okay if there is a variation that the center it will be bright and as it goes out it will be kind of fade and anyway after cutoff there is nothing so this is the calculation now we will go with the actual calculation how it happens okay so we will bring it okay so suppose our light is our light is I, I won't say uh, this as okay so okay so suppose the light is positioned here light is somewhere it is positioned here okay and i want to illuminate a point that is here so the normal vector is this so this is normal If this is normal, if this is light, then this is light direction. Okay, so this is light norm. There is another thing that is called a spotlight. So light came here initially, probably light will be here only at the 0, 0, 0 or 0, 0, uh, some location, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 3, the where we position. Since we did, did the transformation, so light came here so the light di spot direction for time being i consider the spot direction as this okay light rotated and this is the spot direction what is the spot direction this is the spot direction so i call it a spot direction as d If a spot direction is D and this being light direction, light vector, okay, and cutoff angle is some theta that is this, this is cutoff angle around the spot direction, okay, so this light, this point will not get illuminated because it is out of the uh, cut out of the cone okay now think about if i want to illuminate a light that is inside the cone and it is here now the normal vector would be this okay 
okay and line connecting the light position and this this is the light vector so light vector and normal vector if we do dot then we come to line vector and normal vector if i do dot we come the come at the calculation of diffuse light okay line vector and i coordinate that we come in the calculation of a specular okay but in the in the vertex okay so uh, probably i can save and Okay, so we are talking about this. Now, I want to eliminate a, a point that is inside the cone, and we draw a new yellow color normal and new light vector. Okay, so this color. So this is the new light vector. Now, whatever we do the dot through that we decide for the diffuse factor. Okay, and if I do e dot n. Okay, so this is n. This yellow line is an e n. So e dot n e is this direction, i direction where the i is. So if I do e dot n, then I get the plus l dot n. I get a specular component, diffuse component, a specular component. What about the spot factor? Okay, so since it is inside the cone, so that whatever. It comes as diffuse and a specular, so that's okay. This is what the spot spot factor is. But if I go for a spot exponent, a spot exponent means uh, the spot light should decrease from the center inside the cone itself. It should decrease along the kind of boundary. So in that case, this is the spot direction. What we see here is kind of orange. Okay. So this is a spot direction. So spot direction, spot direction, spot direction, and the light vector. If I do cos, if I do dot, whatever comes in, okay. So that, so here, so this is D, and this is new L. Okay, so this is new L. It's a kind of uh, reddish brown. So this is new L. Okay, and this is orange color is D. So if I write like this, L dot D. to the power spot exponent how it would decrease power spot exponent okay that will be uh, uh, that much it would reduce okay so l dot d so d and l if i do dot then and then power exponent so if I want to illuminate something at spotlight location only. So this is a spotlight location. Here, if I want to illuminate something at the spotlight location, okay. So if I want to illuminate something at a spotlight location, so at that this case L dot D, okay. Now L. The L would be would kind of it would coincide the D. So L dot D is one. So 
L dot D is 1. In that case, spot exponent, whatever it is, it is 1. So, it will get maximum illumination. So, from the center of the cone, if I start going outward, the L dot D would decrease and so light would decrease. So that is science of kind of spotlight. So uh, what about if light position is here? Now I did a kind of transformation in the light road and light position is here. If light position is here, then the spot, uh, spot direction, whatever we are talking about spot direction. So spot direction would also transform. Okay. So we can think at a spot direction now, something like this. something like this, okay? Or we, if we if we change the spot direction, then it is something like this. It is up to us what a spot direction we keep. If this is the spot direction, then it would illuminate only that comes inside the angle, okay? And if I use the vertices here, if I use the vertices here, that gets maximum illumination. If I use vertices that is at the corner, it gets less illumination inside the cone. Outside the cone, nothing. So, this is spotlight. Okay, so we talked about the spotlight and we'll add one, so whatever we are doing, we have been doing. So that is a, a vertex calculation. So this is what we have been doing. Now uh, we will do kind of, uh, so what is problem in the vertex calculation? So problem in the vertex, like whatever example we have pushed, that is kind of uh, shaders calculation. The, so per vertex calculation is we, uh, we get uh, uh, so illumination happens only at vertices. So in the fragment shader, it interpolates as per the shading models. If it is a kind of a smooth shading, so it thinks about uh, uh, coloring the rasterized pixels as per the vertices lighting. I mean, lighting anyway it generates color only. So as per the vertices color. So at the vertices, if there is no illumination, there won't be any light. Okay. So. To make it more perfect, we go for a kind of uh, uh, doing the light calculation, doing the color calculation, doing the fragment calculation at at each fragment, at each pixel, set of pixel. So, so that is kind of a Hong model. So we we are doing right now per vertex model. That is kind of a Gorward model, and we will enter into Hong model. So Hong model would look like this. So if I do per vertex calculation, so if, if light color at the vertices are green, so full surface will be green. Even though uh, we are kind of showing some kind of uh, a light at the center, light at the vertices only matters, not at the... So if I have a big shape and less number of vertices are there, there and light is beam light, there is a high chance that light will fall uh, in this region. If that is the case, then there is no illumination in per vertex calculation. Where in Fong model, we do the calculation per fragment, per pixel. So, even though there are only four vertices, okay, still we get illumination uh, on the surface. So, each pixel gets illumination. So, that is a kind of uh, a huge difference. So, it makes sense in real life, but at the cost of too many calculations per vertex per vertex calculation is less if there are kind of like I have a cube then there are I believe eight vertices but if I go for per pixel or per fragment calculation it may go beyond hundred or thousand so that is the difference from eight to thousand so too many so uh, machine has to be very strong and uh, kind of uh, highly powerful. So that is the idea. So we will see that. So I will delete this and we will add.
Okay, so we have added Gorward and Fong model. So uh, that also we'll see. Okay, so we'll proceed now. So this is what code we had written till now and now uh, kind of uh, uh, we are happy that we will proceed uh, in spotlight direction. So spotlight direction as we discussed. So we will introduce a spotlight direction called D okay, and D we will calculate like normalize. So transpose inverse model view light into whatever transpose. So we are making that uh, uh, D would also move uh, if light position is moving. Okay. Dot X Y Z. That's it. So this is new D and if this is the D, so we will calculate the spot factor. Okay, so spot factor probably we can add here in float spot or its spot factor. I think it's not a good programming here. So I can say spot factor. float spot factor equal to 1.0 this is what how we initialize and now it's time to calculate the spot factor so if light is other side anyway we'll go with the ambience color otherwise okay so otherwise we'll calculate so if dot of l dot of D and L okay is greater than cosine of the okay pi I'll just calculating in hurry 3.14 into angle is 20 divided by this is in radian okay so if this is the case, so we are inside the cone, if this is the, I mean, this should be equal, then we are inside the cone, if we are inside the cone, then we are happy to announce that a spot factor is modified, power Okay, so max 0 and dot of D and L and power by exponent factor. I will make exponent factor 14. I think I can initialize with this with 0. So I don't need to put else. So it will be 0. If a spot factor, uh, if that is the case, then a spot factor is a nice one. Otherwise, it is 0. Okay, otherwise uh, calculation is happening the way it is and here, here I will add a spot factor. Quite simple. Okay, so I introduce a normalized vector uh, and a spotlight, a spot direction that is transpose inverse model view light and into uh, wake 4 so and this is the initial direction this is direction okay and then uh, we did dot and if it is inside the cone then spot factor actually ha is has some meaning 
okay otherwise it is zero if it is zero then there is no color i think we are done that's it so i'll see what is out so space so pretty well okay semicolon i have to make this is not a python code okay so pretty well Okay, so finally we forgot the semicolon here. the power 40 this is not correct max dot here okay we'll try our luck again okay so mr transfer so we have commented this as we did not need needed this transpose and view light okay so we will kind of add here model view light and transpose inverse model view light so we'll get the uniform location of this one so model view light transpose inverse model view light now transpose inverse light okay so i have to uncomment this so they should go there we'll try again oh okay so this is a sphere now this is light now i'll bring light near to the Uh, it became a spotlight i believe it is quite clear so it became a spotlight okay okay so this is because of okay so because of so w y h okay so this is how perspective projection is probably okay so uh, kind of uh, spotlight is visible spotlight is moving eh? along with uh, okay so i'll bring it again there is no cost in bringing it again so this is light and i am placing it near the spotlight is appearing i mean Uh, there is no harm in again in showing that uh, okay so i'll rotate it blue color is the ambience so there is a difference this is not ambience what we we see around the spotlight that is black there is no light at all okay first idea is that that i would show 
so i can say that okay so whatever we are drawing so we'll remember it okay so this is what is uh, with spotlight and we'll disable the spotlight and we'll see what is the so disabling is not very difficult we'll just remove this spotlight this is without a spotlight this is with a spotlight at the beginning only there is a difference now this if i place the the light near the sphere we can see ambience is kind of it is appearing around it okay and distance how much it is so if i print it is minus 2.9 whereas here distance is nothing okay now i'll take it to minus 2.9 so 2.3 2.7 2 2.9 so both are at same distance so i'll remove the light and here also i'll remove the light now see how much different it is so the left side is without the kind of uh, spot light right side is it's spotlight so spotlight and blue is the ambience black is no light so outside the so if i bring it big so outside if the camera position is near so if camera is near uh, light position is near if light position is near then it 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 it, it, it uh, since this is a kind of a, a, a positional light so we see the ambience round but here in the spotlight okay we see black color means there is no light ambience is much kind of around so this is spotlight now we don't want exponent just just a torch light okay so i'm happy with this and just a torch light so i don't want exponent exponent is zero it should be equal all around i mean this is better idea okay so it should be equal all around okay now it is equal of here 2.9 okay so i don't know sometimes it comes around okay so it is equal all along and it is different than this both are different okay so 20 degree is uh, this much we are getting a smoother probably i can increase the angle then it will be even a smoother so i'll make it kind of 30 okay it is like this okay so this is what we are doing okay i have generated this through fragment shader so that's why it's smooth so this much we get in vertices shader okay so uh, the per vertex calculation and per fragment fragment calculation we are talking so this much we get in the per vertex cal calculation so this is a spotlight like a torch no one stops us revolving it's like a torch 
okay i can move up move down left right so like a torch this also i can rotate okay move up move down so this is about um, spotlight that we have discussed okay now we will move to attenuation so attenuation light will decrease so attenuation calculation is this we have to place the attenuation like this so we will add so probably we can kind of mute this okay so what is mr attenuation is so we will introduce attenuation attenuation and now i will calculate the attenuation whatever the attenuation okay so attenuation matters uh, between distances what is the distance okay so distance is light position what is the distance so distance is light position and vertices if this yellow color is the vertex and this is what this is a, a, a light this is light position then this is the distance this much is the distance and if distance increases light should decrease okay that is attenuation so what formula we will so first we have to calculate the distance so i would say okay so attenuation instead of so we will calculate the distance so i'll say i believe a distance we can just add it here so i can say float distance between light and vertex equal to 0 dot 0 we will calculate the distance distance light and normal light and vertex equal to distance model view okay now both we are transforming so model view model view light into vec so this is the uh, this is the we have we are not using too many variables here and there and storing we are using right now this is for demonstration purpose x y z and distance between and model view sphere into four and then whatever the coordinate is some time it is called i coordinate dot x y z okay so this is distance and this is model so we calculated the distance now it is nice idea to calculate the attenuation attenuation so attenuation equal to so we will clamp between 0 and 1 and i will say 10 i am using 10 so that there should be some light means it should not go too too low and we will clamp between 1 dot 0 okay so this is attenuation So finally, we calculated the attenuation. And since we are doing all the 
it's not very wide anyway I means this is not a kind of a, a very optimized code optimization we can do so this is for demonstration and here i'll add multiply by attenuation i mean this is what it is attenuation spotlight effect multiplied by ambience multiplied by diffuse multiplied by specular okay this is what exactly we are doing attenuation multiplied by spot factor multiplied by color that is specular into diffuse ambience we are calculating other way okay we can add ambience in this multiplication also there is no harm in that okay now it is done as per the discussion we can add in the attenuation here also we talked about distance so kind of 1 plus this is the formula 1 by kc plus kd polynomial quadratic we are not using so okay 10 by 1 plus distance LV okay so we are done probably it should compile and we should get some output okay so we'll make it 40 Python okay. now if I take the light, light position kind of far then okay I mean I can try other thing so we'll use a sharp image So here I will use whale shark dot off. Okay. So this much light it is receiving. So uh, if I bring the light away, it is increasing. After that, light is decreasing. Means this is the light position ok so this is the light if it is near I believe it is too low and if I bring it so this much we don't like this because we are using our great spotlight so that's why it is showing uh, we are not able to see attenuation nicely what I can do and I can kind of mute this spotlight effect right now so that we can see the attenuation a little better ok it is far better and so I can I can bring away So it went really away, but we are seeing that innovation. So, okay, so it is becoming dim. And so, if I bring near, it is glowing. Okay, now since it is positional light, so if it goes inside it then again it will be nothing so only ambience we can this is ambience okay but if I bring it light position away then it will become dim 
okay now i am bringing light position near to the model so it is becoming bright this is ambience Okay, I can rotate the model also. Okay, so this is attenuation. Okay, so we'll move to uh, so we'll move to much awaited uh, kind of. Uh, fragment shader so we so fragment shader where we do the uh, all calculation uh, through a fragment shader not in the vertex shader so that is the uh, so that is the a uh, fong model so fong model we'll see Okay, so this is Fong model. So this is whatever we are doing that is per vertex calculation. Now we'll do uh, per fragment calculation. That is the idea. Okay. So uh, we would come in this. In Python, it's like the way we wish we do. It is that simple. Okay, so seventy one. And forty. Okay, so fourteen to seventy one. Okay, so this is our new vertex code two, and this is okay. Sorry, so uh, copy paste happened. Okay, so this is vertex word. Word code, whatever is the original we have written, and this is what uh, we'll modify. Now things would move in the uh, kind of uh, a fragment shader, so uh, probably uh, okay. So how I can copy their things because. It is exactly same, so probably I can type it here only. So I would say uh, we need a, a projection. And we need model view sphere. And then we need these two attributes so this would go here and i would say white main like this so we ended this code 
and here inside now we will have wiring so uh, there are two wirings so wiring one is one is vertex coordinate and another wiring is normal and here a gl position this code we will just bring it here okay what is these two wirings that we'll put it here okay so what is coordinate is nothing but coordinate and normal is nothing but normal so we are passing the coordinate and normal to the fragment shader we are doing nothing so projection and model view sphere what we are receiving through that we are we are are doing the transformation in the vertex what it means this is what is expected from the vertex shader and then we are moving the vertex coordinate and vertex normal uh, to the fragment shader okay so we are done now uh, we will stick the kind of label here of the fragment shader so you are mr fragment shader so this is fragment okay so version uh, is not i think it support 330 also so and we are using uh py uh, is a uh, pip3 through a python installer so we are using uh, sudo pip3 list and grip minus i python open gl it should come quickly okay so there is nothing like that i would say open gl okay so py open gl is what we are using 3.1.7 is there anything like show okay so author is mr mike and i tried to see so show when it was released i believe it is really really recently because okay it is based on python 3.7 okay anyway so we can continue with our business okay so vertex code uh, shader we have finalized and in fragment shader we have projection and then all the thing and then lit also still we have okay so two wirings are here so these two wirings will come here also so where it vertex color is no more a wiring okay and now we have diffuse color specular component spot factor distance attenuation if it is lit then that's it nothing nothing more okay now wherever we have coordinate where i'll replace with the wiring vertex coordinate okay that's it and wherever we have normal we replace with vertex normal
okay so only one place normal 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 okay what is coder normal okay so uh, i think we have changed okay so a vertex normal we have used uh, only in calculating the while calculating the normal okay so when we kind of transform the a uh, normal uh, uh, from a vertices then we use n l is light and distance attenuation d okay and so what we are doing here means why it is different when code is same we are using it is called interpolated norm okay so what happens behind this in any way but we we'll see the <laughs> output then we will calculate it so uh, this is now we will go down okay so probably we just remove this this is the main and now wherever we are calculating the vertex color so it is it is now gl prac color okay that's it we are completely done oh what is okay so what we are doing so let's see so uh, we are using a spot factor as 40 very well attenuation we can just silent it for timing now and attenuation will remove so only a spot factor will focus and that's it so uh, we'll try if it really compiles first of all we are seeing issues in compilation okay so gl prac color is undeclared Okay, so we can see the spotlight and how it will be different. So better we'll use cone because now I have a cone that has four vertices at the front and four vertices behind the scene. Okay, so that we'll use. So uh, I mean we'll use cube which has eight vertices. So I'll edit it. And we'll use instead of it, we'll use Q. I'll copy Q. Image globe. Okay. And then we'll try. Okay. So now we can see that. Even though illumination is inside the queue, it t still illumination is there. Okay. This is what it is. Okay. We can see the shining at the center I can increase uh, shining so now we'll run both 
It's not that we are showing in one corner. So uh, we have, uh, we are using a spotlight. Okay. So time being will kind of a spotlight will remove the exponent part and here we'll use a specular component bigger so that it would be visible. Okay, so this is what I want. Now we can see Okay, so we can see the shining at the center. Now, if I if I move the light near to it, it will become a spotlight. Spotlight is inside the uh, cube, but it is still showing. We can see the blue. That is the ambience still showing. Okay, this is per vertex there. Oh. Okay, so this is per vertex calculation. Okay. Now we will use a per vertices calculation, we will retain the code. So this is the code for per vertices calculation and so I will remove this, I will place it here. And we will use all the factors what we have used same. So I will use here color of shining as 8 and we will use no spot exponent that is it and then we will draw it. This is per vertex. Now I will show the kind of spotlight. There is no light, only ambience. I think ambience is visible, that is blue in color. There is no light. Spotlight is falling on the on the surface. That is not so vertex is not included. If vertex is not included, there is no light. So I'll bring the light. Okay, so this big is light. Okay, I will bring the light near. So, now vertices are being illuminated. I have to use bigger projection matrix. Okay. There is a specular shining if you see. If light is falling on the vertices. See. See. It is pretty clear. If light is falling on the vertices, then there is a uh, lighting at the corner and that is what it is kind of uh, interpolated around on the surface. But here, doesn't matter. Means I will bring the light near. doesn't matter okay light is falling at the vertices it is its luck otherwise it is also okay okay whereas per vertices lighting falling is at vertex then it is very fine 
otherwise there is there is nothing okay only vertices near the vertices it is shining otherwise there is absolutely nothing okay so a difference is kind of uh, it is visible so left is per vertex calculation right is per fragment calculation okay so how it happens when it does the computation okay so right now if it does the computation so in this fashion so this is the uh, this is our q if this is the q and we have normals only at the vertices this is normal this is normal this is normal okay so if it is doing per vertex calculation then it is estimating the normal as these locations this is called interpolation if i am using a smooth, smooth model then whatever the vertex what is the normal near the vertex that it is taking and per pixel it is estimating the normal okay nice would be if we we do the calculation per pixel the normal not we let the uh, kind of open gl do because open gl will do kind of uh, a universal calculation may not be fit in our calculation but it's okay means for timing it's okay okay so that is the scenario okay so i believe it is really nice okay so we have finished the lighting fundamentals we saw a uh, gorward and fong model and spotlight attenuation and ambient diffuse specular and positional light and perspective projection and directional light okay and then all the topics so for the spotlight if i see the calculation if i see the calculation for the spotlight d equal to we are using directional okay we are not using positional it is fixed we are not we are not transforming the spotlight with the model view light if you see the normal we are transforming it with model view light whereas we are transforming it with transpose inverse model we are considering this as a normal as, as a, a normal surface okay so that is is the calculation okay otherwise code is same okay here nothing whatever only vertices are shining 